And yet he says there are many garments. So one can tear one garment and put on another. But you have one heart. And that heart is within. You know, sometimes people come out with a facial expression of uh, repentance. And it is what grammatically called corocodile, uh, corocodile tears, insincere display of what they are inside. Even in our liturgy, Sixteen sixty-two precisely, or in a in a catechism, say what is required of those who come for baptism, and also Lord's supper, say that they will repent if they have repented and forsaken their sin. In baptism, repentance unto salvation. This has to do with bitter sorrow for sin unto salvation. And that's what Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 7 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 9 and 10 Now I rejoice know that you were made sorrow but that ye sorrow to repentance for ye were made sorrow sorry after godly manner that he might receive damage by us in nothing for godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation not to be repented of but the sorrow of the world worketh death rending our hearts but understand that God is talking to every individual seated in this sanctuary. That's why it's a heart, not hearts. Singular. He's talking to you, he's talking to me. Every one of us. Rent your heart and not your garment. He emphasizes repentance unto salvation not to be repented of, not to regret you know there are people who regret being born again because they see what the devil will paint as an opportunity to amass wealth and because he that is born of God does not commit sin then how then do we say that we are all sinners after we have been born again. He that is born of God does not. He may fall into sin, but he does not live in sin. He does not deliberately commit sin because the seed of God is in him and he guides and directs him. So when somebody see a fine lady Figure it. Comes around and offer herself free. You say, ah, if I am not born again, is somebody following me? Godly sorrow does not regret. Godly sorrow unto repentance does not regret being a child of God in the face of offer, blessed offer. What about bribery? You do not regret that somebody brings stolen things to buy and ah, I can't buy this. I can't be involved. I'm a child of God. It's not in those forces. But there are people who are regretting that. Hello? Renting our hearts is to be broken before the Lord. And I would like to take us to what we have forgotten in our liturgy, 1662, page 175, the confession we made, but before the confession, as we prepare to receive the communion, say, ye that truly and earnestly repent, 
ye that have rent your heart of your sins and are in love and charity with all your neighbors and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways draw near with faith. What follows is the general confession. After we have individually dealt with our specific misdeeds and offense before God, and you look at the rubric, it said that one of the priests, one of the ministers, then shall this general confession be made in the name of all those, in the name, in other words, on behalf. So what we taste there is general confession. There are no specific mention there, which we have rented our hearts from before that point in time. And he says, by one of the ministers, both he and all the people kneeling humbly upon their knees and saying, listen carefully, what rending the heart means. Almighty God, heavenly, almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against their divine, their divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Let me stop there. Before the priest absorb, and you look at the absolution itself, is conditioned on rending the heart. It is conditioned on genuine repentance. Penitently, with brokenness, with contriteness. So the priest pronounced, Almighty God and Heavenly Father, who of your great mercy have promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him. So without true repentance, without penitent heart, without true faith, by which we return to God and trust him, the forgiveness, the pardon, the remission, the cleansing, the transformation that God does by himself will not come. Understand that rending the heart or genuine repentance is an antidote for sin. The wages of sin is death. That God forgive us sin because he has lavished his love upon us. That's why John, in the first John chapter 3, he said, Behold, what manner of love has the Father bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. And the implication is that like Father, like children. God does not dwell in darkness. God does not live in sin. And Jesus came in the flesh. And throughout his life on earth, he lived to please the Father. He only passed through what he passed according to Isaiah chapter 53 because of us on our behalf. 
a man of sorrow. No, full of grief, not for his own sin. That's how we should feel when we offend God. Jesus bore our sins upon himself. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And after all that, many of us are still hardened in our heart. Many of us are still hardened in our heart. And yet we display superficial religiosity. As we gather unto the Lord, some people are in the habit of outward show, of repentance that does not come from their heart. But it is only a broken spirit and a contrite heart that God accepts, forgives, pardon, cleanses, and transforms. In Mark chapter 7, verse 20 and 21, Mark 7, verse 20 and 21, For within, out of the hearts of men, proceed evil thoughts. That's why we should rend that heart. Out from within our hearts proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness. An evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, and such like. From within the heart. And that's why we need to learn the heart. We need to repent from all this. Are you here? What occupies your mind? Are you malicious? Are you envious? Are you jealous? Are you thinking of revenge? Are you living on forgiveness? What about adulteries? I know a man, just two weeks after marriage, he was booking an appointment with another woman. And I was there in the, what we used to call a bachelor's eve. He used to come to our office, for business. I said, but you just married. He said, if I'm married, then call. Is it only one type of soup that man will be eating? I said, it's a sin, it's adultery. He said, I'm a holy sinner. Adultery. We find all kinds of reason. I'm not the only person doing it. Somebody say, you can do it, but don't be caught. We have seen it when it happened in the African magic, in the old videos. Where the woman they call begin to cry and ask for her victim. But all the boy have been doing it. No regret until he's caught. And then somebody also cancelled a young believer. A young believer who fell into fornication. I was trembling. And they run to the priest for cancelling. He said, Is that the reason why you are shaking like this? Many people are doing it. Just don't be caught. No repentance, no regret. Mothers, people are committing abortion at ease now. At ease. I've heard about parents providing condom and more provisions to their children going back to boarding school. They provide condoms and more other provisions. So you go and call me fornication, but don't impregnate somebody. And is a communicant. You see, the holy communion. Deceit. Are we sincere? Are we honest with our dealing with our neighbor? Do we have, you know, hidden agenda? Do we smile, you know? With our face, but our heart is bent on mischief, lasciviousness, lust, lust, evil eyes, covetous spirit, all this in foolishness. I just saw something that broke my heart. 
Somebody baptized, confirmed, worked in the chancel as altar server. Say that Jesus is useless. And the Bible, Christianity is calm, Bible is useless. At least I know about two currently. What are we doing in the church? We all need to examine the kind of heart with which we serve God. If the Spirit is saying, rend your heart, which means the heart is rendable. I have seen there's some commas in our life which is not pleasing unto him. I pray that the Holy Spirit will reveal this unto you. Whatever is contrary, I love the definition of sin to the Sunday school. Anything you do or say or think that is not the will of God. Hello? Anything you do or say or think that is contrary to the will of God is sin. And somebody said also that sin is satanic in nature. Sin, satanic in nature. It is not the character of God. It's not the character of Jesus Christ. And Jesus has come to deliver us from the power that with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can live right. And I pray that this Lenten period, the grace of God will abound upon us to be what he wants us to be and to do what he wants us to do so that his blessing shall not elude us. That blessing when we serve God with broken spirit and contract heart. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 3, blessed are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. And blessed are those who mourn, those who pray and fast in penitence, you know the praying and fasting we are doing now, you know the time of uh, asking for one need or the other. It's a time of cleansing, purifying. You see, anybody who has the hope of seeing Jesus must purify himself, even as he is pure. That's what we are doing at this time. They are blessed. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Lord shall comfort you. The Lord shall heal your broken hearted. Just do your little part unto him. The other blessing abound. The God is present. God answered the prayer. He hear the prayer. He guide and direct because he is happy with us. He pleased with us. We have done what he wants us to do. And so I pray for you as I pray for myself that the grace and the help of the Holy Spirit to rend our heart on daily basis. He's not asking us to continue to see that grace may abound. But as we examine our life and something is contradicting the will of God, we need to instantly repent with brokenness before the Lord. Not just confessing. You confess and change from doing it. Stop from doing it. But the grace of God abound upon us in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for hearing your word. We pray that we shall not be disobedient or rebellious to your word. But as we receive the grace to rend our heart, we pray that the kingdom of God, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, and all that we have needed shall not elude us in the name of Jesus Christ. As we remain standing, we shall reaffirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the God of heaven and earth, for that is sin and unseen. Believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, God from truth, but in not to being with the Father, praying all things to made for us men of our salvation. Came down from heaven, power of the Spirit, came incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. Sick, was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered death, and was buried. 
ਉਹਦੇ ਬੋਲ ਸਕੇ ਬੋਡਸ The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercy breath forever amen for his mercies breath forever amen let us begin to appreciate him let us glorify his holy name the ancient of days the king of kings and the lord of lords let's magnify his holy name because his grace alone stands us out Let's worship him that since the beginning of this year, in particular the month of February, God Almighty has been so gracious to us. Today is the last Sunday in the month of February, the 25th day in the month of February. Let's just appreciate him, magnify his holy name for his protection. Let's thank him for his provision. Let's appreciate him for his enablement. His manifold blessings lavish upon us from time to time. Let's thank you for good news we continue to receive from our people and all sad news. Let's magnify his only name for putting food on our table despite the challenges in this country. Let's just appreciate him, the Father, you are awesome. Thank him for what he has done and for what he will continue to do. Thank him for your life. The grace of sleeping and waking up is by sheer grace. It's a merited favor. It's what we continue to enjoy from time to time. Let's magnify his holy name. Even for bringing you to come and worship him this morning is by his grace. Appreciate him. Lord, in your mercy, let us rejoice with all those who are marking their birthdays this week, in particular, for Osho Yenka, who is marking his birthday today, let's pray that God will continue to bless the celebrants slated for this week, that goodness and mercy of the living God shall continue to locate them, that nothing evil shall befall them in the mighty name of Jesus, that as they remember their birthday celebrations this week, let's pray that come next year, God will continue to bless them in return. That we shall not have any cause to mourn over any one of them. Lord, in your mercy, let's remember our businesses. Let's pray for Nigerian police force. Pray for Lit Talk Enterprises, Buta Media Nigeria Company. Pray that, Father, these companies, they will not experience any form of disaster. Fire will be far away from them. Let's pray that loss will be far away from them. Let's pray for, uh, for officers and men of Nigerian police force in particular, that God's protection will be surest over them as they carry out their daily responsibilities. Pray for your own business, pray for your own organization. The Father, I will continue to experience your goodness. I will continue to experience your favor all the days of my life. Lord, in your mercy, 
Let us remember the Right Reverend J.O.B. Bada, his family, clergy, and people of our Coco Diocese. Let us pray that the work of God will continue to move forward in his hand. Let us pray for the Reverend Canon Dr. Halfred Obekwe, that God Almighty will continue to bless him and his family in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for the Bishop of Nigeria, North America, Right Reverend J.M. Dobbs, the clergy and people that God Almighty will continue to be with them as they continue to fire for God from all cylinders in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy. I want you to talk to yourself, the Father, Lord God Almighty. I hand over all that I'll be doing this week to your hands, Father, that this week I will pursue and let me recover all that I've lost in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe you can speak for yourself. Talk to God, the Father, this week as I march on in your name, not in my own power, not in my own strength. Lord, I will pursue and I will recover. All that I've lost, Lord God Almighty, you will hand them back over to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray the Father, this week will not bring sorrow to me. This week will not bring disaster to me. This week will not bring shame to me. This week will not bring embarrassment to me. Pray the Father, on all sides, you will bless me. You will establish me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray the Father, all my anger blessings you will release unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe you are talking, I believe you are speaking to your God, the Father, and me, your presence this morning. Don't let me go back home empty handed. Lord, you will set to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray the Father in this new week all the plans of my detractors shall not manifest over me in the mighty name of Jesus. That God Almighty will put their plans, God will put all their thoughts to nothingness in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray the Father this week, your blessing shall test my way in the mighty name of Jesus. In all that I lay my hands upon, Lord, I will prosper. My children will prosper, my grandchildren will prosper. My business will continue to march on from glory to glory. Lord, for me and my family members, it shall be forward ever and backward never. Pray that, Father, you will renew my strength like that of the eagles. You are sick and you are here. Talk to God, the Father, heal me. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Let's pray that Nigeria will rise again, just like God Almighty visited the land of Samaria. Lord, visit us. Because there's nothing that you cannot do. There is hunger in the land. Let's pray that, Father, when men are shouting, casting down, concerning me, it shall be lifting up. Lord, in your mercy. Let's pray for the church of God. The Father, we commit and re a primate unto thy care, blessing our dean, Olushina, our bishop, and our people who are bishop. Let's pray, Father, Lord God Almighty, as we continue to direct them. Lord, you will continue to bless them in return. Remember all clergy, remember all laity, the Father, Lord God Almighty, that our prayers will be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. That none of us will go back home empty handed in the mighty name of Jesus.
Lord, in your mercy, why are you here this morning? I know that you are here to meet your God. Why don't you hand over everything unto him? All things are possible to him. Remind him again about those shut doors. Remind him again about those lost opportunities. He can still fix things back for you. Remember that he has never lost a battle. Remember that we are talking about the same God who raised up Lazarus after four solid days in the tomb. Tell me what he cannot do. The one who brought water from the rock. The one who made a way where there seems to be no way for the Israelites. What can he not do? Tell him, the Father, I believe you. I put my trust in you, and I know that I will not be put to shame. If you believe in what you have handed over to him, just begin to appreciate him. The Father, I thank you, because I know that you have opened a new chapter in my life. And so, Father, we return all thanks to you because of your faithfulness. Thank you because you've heard us. And we pray that your grace will continue to abide for us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for answering us. In Jesus' name we are prayed. We say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. Fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all evermore. Amen. May we please stand. Christ is a peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which the earth has given and human hands have made, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which will become our spiritual drink. Yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the glory, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your home, the wicked. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is in the right, it is our duty and joy at all times and no places. To give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord, for his so living word. Through you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through you have freed us from the slavery of singing and to be born as man to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on her. Through you have sent upon us a holy, holy and life giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was in every way tempted as we are, yet did not sin. By whose grace we are able to triumph over every evil and to live no longer unto ourselves, but unto him. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever, praising you and saying... Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Let us say it as we continue in prayer. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, this gift of bread and wine, May be to us his body and blood, who in this night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of his head, made once raw upon the cross, and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. As we look for his coming glory, we celebrate with his bread and this cup. It's one perfect sacrifice. Accept through him our great high priest. This is a sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and in him. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, with all we stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. We shall praise you. Draw now with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which He gave you, and His blood, which He shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that He died for you, and feed on Him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving.
It's time to give our kingdom seed offering. And we stand as we pray together. Our loving and Father with heaven, we thank you for another privilege and opportunity here to partner with you in the spread of your gospel here on earth. We ask, O oh God, even as we put our resource even into the, into the work of evangelism, we ask, God, that you will count us worthy even to reign with you in glory. And even as we give even to your work, may your kingdom indeed, O oh God, be populated. May joy be found in heaven for the soul that repents. We ask, O oh God, that as a result of this service, may you attend to all that concerns us. And give unto us peace where we have sorrow. Give unto us calmness where we have turbulence. And let your peace, which money cannot buy, continually fill our lives. These are other messages we ask for. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My heart says of you, seek his face, your face, O Lord, I will seek. The Lord be with you. As our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Kingdom come. We be done on us in heaven. Give us today our day. Because our sin. Forgive those who sin against us. Those that temptation. 
kingdom, Father, glory are yours. Now and for together, Almighty God, thank you for feeding us for the blood of your Son. A living soul, praise the Lord. The Lord is good and all the time. Even as we bring our Sunday collection, welfare offering, and scholarship fund, we request members of the Gidas who us to please bring forward the box as the band leaders. Sunday collection, welfare offering, and scholarship fund. Even though it's been so hard to move on Everybody around me couldn't help Though they promised but they could not keep up Even then they had their own secret pains I've been long gone, trusting me man Though they tried but they all failed But I'm encouraged, no peace lost let me tell you why I have a father I have a father He will never ever fail me I have a father He will never ever fail me Jehovah Papa He will never ever fail me Rock of ages never I have a father I have a father He will never ever fail me I have a father He will never ever fail me Jehovah Papa Never ever fail me. Rock of ages never ever fail. Eh, hey, oh, yeah, joy overflows. Joy overflows in my heart. Sing a new song. Sing a new song to the Lord. Joy overflows. Joy overflows in my heart. Sing a new song. I will praise your name. I will praise your name. I will worship you, I will worship you Glory, glory, hallelujah Sing a new song to the Lord Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah Sing a new song to the Lord We sing Yeshua, Amashiach of Judah, Agune Chemba, oh Yeshua, Yeshua, Amasia, Lion of Judah, oh Agune Chemba, Agune Chemba. Ever faithful, always loyal father, we trust and know that you will never ever fail us according to your eternal covenant of peace you always true always loyal always faithful always defending always protecting always providing for us and as a token out of what you've provided for us we give our offering unto you even as we give our sunday collection our welfare offering and scholarship fund bless them bless the work of our hands bless the fruit of our labor and cause it to multiply as you might cater and provide for all your people and for every need as you continue to bless us in the work of our hands as you continue to preserve us in your grace in your mercy your peace your loving kindness through christ our lord amen we invite those who are here with their tithes to please step forward and those who are those who are paid online, please, you are also welcome. Project card and maintenance card. Tights for those who are paid online, or you want to bring it forward now. Project card and maintenance card. The band, please. Darling Jesus, darling Jesus. Oh, my darling Jesus, you are a wonderful God. I love you so, my darling Jesus. Oh, my darling Jesus, you are a wonderful God. Darling Jesus. Darling Jesus. Oh, my 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 darling Jesus.
Jesus, you are wonderful. I love you so. I love you so. My love is true. Oh, 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 oh
that all you have done for us will remain permanent in our lives in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will do more even during this week in the name of Jesus. We pray for those who have none, Lord, you provide for them. For those that are here today, Lord, let your blessings flow in their lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. We invite our women to place the four with their sacrifice card. Women sacrifice card. Women sacrifice card. Your love is taking over me. Father, I depend on you. I am confident in you. In you, oh God, I put my trust in your love. Taking over me, I have confidence. I have confidence in you. You are I put my trust. Oh, yes, you cover me. I'm God. Yes, I am the righteousness. Oh, yes, you cover me. I'm God. You gotta be. Give me security. I am the righteousness. Ancient of days, again your daughters have come with your sacrifices before you. Lord, we ask that you accept the sacrifice of sweet smell and savour before you. And in return, Lord, you hope on heavens upon them and your blessings be poured out these ones. We ask, O oh God, let us give the sacrifice back to you. Lord, you attain to hold our concerns then. Wipe their tears away. Attend to their troubles. And give unto them peace where no one can attend to. And let your joy, which money cannot buy, continually feed their hearts. Let their homes continually be blessed. And let the works of their hand, O Lord, continually hand profits. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> End of the month Thanksgiving. Please stand and let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we return all thanks to you for great things you have done in our lives in this month of February. We thank you, Lord, for your favor upon us. We thank you, Lord, for the grace you have granted us. We thank you, Father, Lord, for many battles that you won for us. Father, we say, may your name be glorified in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, because you have filled our mouth with testimony and you have filled our hearts with joy. Lord, we say forever, may your name be praised in our lives in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, Lord, we have come to you today just to show appreciation of that good work that you have done for us. And the psalmist says, that bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. Lord, I pray as a give thanks to you. May you open heaven and pour down more blessings on us in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we look forward to the month of March, Lord, may we march into our victory in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, may we march to our unending joy in the name of Jesus. I pray testimony will be our portion in the name of Jesus. I pray your favor will continually be our portion in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray in the month of March, Lord, you will do great exploits in our lives in the name of Jesus. 
grace to serve you the more lord you grant to us in the name of jesus heavenly father i pray every closed door you will open to us in the name of jesus and we continue to reign and praise you forever in the name of jesus accept us and our offering and make us useful instruments in your hand forever in the name of jesus thank you father because you know you have done it because we have prayed in jesus name amen Thank you for fighting my battles for me. Jehovah, Holy Spirit, thank you for fighting my battles for me. Jehovah, Holy Spirit, thank you for not leaving me to the wishes of my enemies. Oh, thank you for fighting my battles for me. Thank you for fighting my battles for me. Jehovah, Holy Spirit, thank you for fighting my battles for me. Jehovah, Holy Spirit, yeah, I want my wife, I want you, 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 I come before you today, and I just want to that I want to say, hey, thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, 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 oh. for all you give it to me, for all the blessings that I cannot see. We say, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just wanna thank you, Lord. As we take the next aim, serve the na envelope shall be taken. Serve the na envelope for the next aim.
Lord, as we have offered unto you a self dinner envelope, we pray that you will not keep your Holy Spirit away from us. You will continue to restore our soul with your salvation's joy. And continually, your willing spirit will continue to empower us. In the name of God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. Please, let's sit. In the name of God, we welcome each and every one of us into this last Sunday in the month of February. We pray that the joy of the ever-living God shall continue to locate us all in Jesus' name. I'd like to welcome those worshiping with us for the first time into our midst. Please, if you are one, kindly stand and let us welcome you. If you are worshiping with us for the first time, please stand. And if there is none, let me also welcome those worshiping with us for the first time online because I've been corrected severally. So I wave my hands to you. You are welcome in Jesus' name. We don't throw our notices from page 14. 2024 20, Vestry meeting is today, which is our annual general meeting. I pray that God Almighty will grant unto us fruitful deliberations in Jesus' name. Please let us partner together immediately after the 10 o'clock service. For those that will have to go back to their respective homes, please, I want to believe uh, by one we should be starting by the grace of God. And God Almighty will do it for us in Jesus' name. The post vestry meeting for those to be elected or those that the bishop has appointed, those that vicar will be appointing and not chickens, dominating, vagas, auditors, financial advisory committee will be having their post vestry retreat in this same auditorium on Saturday, which is the 2nd of March at 9 a.m. Swearing in by the grace of God for the newly elected officers also comes up on Sunday during the term of service. A house fellowship continues by the grace of God. The online is today at 7 o'clock. Please feel free to join us. And uh, the link I know will be provided before the day runs out. And we have a physical presence in our various centers tomorrow. Celebration of Jesus continues on Tuesday by the grace of God with our Father and the Lord, the Venerable Dr. Stanley is the Chukuma ministering. Please let's be coming. Then to service continues on Wednesday by the grace of God at 5.30 p.m. Elders Faith Clinic at All Saints Church Ava this Thursday, 29th of February. Please let all our elders take note. Our midday prayer continue at 12 noon every day. Begin the month with the Lord on Friday. Please feel free to join us on at 6 p.m. to talk to God. We shall be in the chapel. God will continue to answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Our self dinner envelope, we appreciate you all, sirs and mass, for your support towards this worthy cause. And I pray that God will continue to meet us all at the point of our needs in Jesus' name. This season will not go in vain upon us all in Jesus' name. We have other information on. On page 15, item 7.1, please, those things that we try as much as possible to run away from, and uh, every other thing. Monday, Thursday, service with the bishop, uh, 19 Hoy, to be brought here. The date when we collect, please let us take note. The 2024 Boys and Girls Brigade Chaplain Patrons and Patronesses meeting on the 16th of March at Follow Yoban Kole Memorial Methodist Church Ikate. The women account details is on page 16. Meetings today, Ladies Auxiliary Young Men Christian Association and Busy Business Sunday. A talk shop is still available, is still open. Place of Liberty, you still have the envelope. Please kindly turn it back. A college place will like to appeal to our younger ones to please partner with us to be members of Aculite serving in the altar. 
Also, for those who plan vocational services, should please make their, take their booking form at the PAO office and return same at least two weeks before the event for the court to plan accordingly. Please let us take note of this. Admission to Lagos Anglican schools into Labico and into federal government, uh, National Universities Commission, like I've said, that we have more details in, on our platform. Please visit our platform and get more details. Please, concerning the Sunday school chairs, I must appreciate you all, sirs and mas, because you've been so wonderful, you've been so supportive, and I pray that God Almighty will continue to reward you all bountifully in the mighty name of Jesus. If you look at it, you see that the chairs is reducing on a daily basis, and I know that it is possible because that was what you made me believe that it is possible. A big possible money uh, down. So please let's work at it and God will continue to help us out in Jesus' name. On page 13, we have the details there and the account to be paid to. That is the church account. If it is one you are able to afford, and please, when you make your payments kindly, uh, inform the PO so that it can be well captured and we pray that as we go this week shall continue to be well with us all in Jesus name please for those having their birthdays today and this week please step forward those marking their birthdays today and this week please step forward and let us sing for you birthday celebrants for this week Almighty God, may you never know a better yesterday in Jesus' name. Hearty congratulations. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. The peace of God which passes on understanding, keep your hearts and minds in knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.